Hi guys, welcome to Roots M Gaming. Probably just holding the rule we have, but I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, I've not been feeling too great, but we persevere, don't we? Um, today we're going to be showing you how to do the bases that I tend to do on my uh, my models. This is a more generic basic method that I tend to use for everything because of course it fits a lot of gaming boards. It looks alright on city fight boards, it looks good when you've got a jungle like atmosphere or when you've got like muddy terrain. It kind of just it's, it's a catch-all. It fits everything, which is always great when you actually when you don't know, especially if you go to a, a local wargaming club and you don't know what you're actually playing on. Uh, yeah, looking into the camera. Right, so let's get started. So the base is basically just covered in little bits of sand and grit. Uh, sometimes I do use some stuff like sterling mud on the bases and Martian iron earth just to give it a little bit of different texture uh, and then of course I spray it black once the glue is dry unfortunately you can see bits come off but once you've got the uh, full painting done then you tend to be okay right let's spray this up we're going to actually spray this initially with bestial brown once I find my pot there we go I keep calling it bestial brown it's rhinox hide apologies rhinox hide so we're going to be doing that on the base first and we're going to take it from there using the weapon. So the next colour we're using is Scrag Brown. And that's going to be kind of flipped on there. And the nozzle bit is off because of course on my airbrush it gives me a, a narrow beam when I do that. So this is basically how we're going to be, go about uh, sort of creating a secondary effect on here. So for the final part of the basin, the basin is just going to dry brush. Dry brush to make the base, tyrant. Sometimes I'll go back to a little bit heavier in certain cases. So, for the final part, because I know that's the final part of painting, I got a really old brush. This has been in bush, this brush has been in service for me for years and I uh, lavish some areas with some PVA glue. Don't ever, and I know this is going to sound weird, top tip, buy it from supermarkets. I got this huge pot from Asda ages ago, or Walmart in the States I suppose, and uh, effectively that uh, cost me a quid. Right, so I just put it into my summer grass, let it dry, and that's basic basing. Um, so if you want to see different type of bases, leave a comment, and I'll be able to uh, crack on with some different type of basing methods. Sometimes your basing, basing methods may lead to sort of things like this, where there's a skull on it. Um, this, of course, is just going to get greened while I'm doing the rest of it. And if you always make mistakes in basing, like on here, see there, there's a bit too much of the brown, you can always cover it up in this method. Uh, this of course allows a lot of speed painting to go through. So thank you very much for watching guys, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more, become a VIP on rootstem.co.uk, £3 a month gets you access to all of my painting and battle report videos, sometimes two to three weeks before they get released on YouTube. Uh, and of course I'm going to even have uh, some specific campaigns that are just going to be running on the site including campaign packs that you're going to be able to download for free and of course play it yourself. Right, thanks very much for watching guys, see you next time.